welcome to RPM. My name is Mike DeJong, and this is your destination for learning classic rock songs or pop songs on the mandolin. Today we're looking at, well, another sort of crossover from Steve Earle, that great country rock songwriter from the United States. He is one of my favorite songwriters and certainly has written some beautiful songs. I think this one is his most beautiful song, and the guitar part is really cool to play on the mandolin. It's called My Old Friend the Blues. We will get into it in just a minute. But first, before we dive into that Steve Earle classic, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, if you're new here, welcome. Thanks very much for tuning in to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin. But please hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner really helps this channel to continue to grow into the future and to provide you with classic rock and pop songs into the coming months. Once again, my name is Mike DeJong, and we are looking at My Old Friend the Blues by Steve Earle today on RPM. All right, we've zoomed in for this Steve Earle classic song, and yeah, it's a country rock song, but... Uh, you know, I really love it, and I think you'll like playing it on the mandolin, too. And, you know, it was covered by a Scottish band, the Proclaimers. They did a really cool version of it. I don't know if it was in the 80s or 90s or whatever, but their version is really nice, too. In fact, it's got some really nice harmony vocals on it that Steve Earle's version doesn't have, but it does have the same or very similar uh, licks on the guitar. So I'm going to show you those licks here on the mandolin, all right? The first thing that you really have to learn is that this song is really only three chords, right? So it's G, right? And then a C chord and a D seventh chord or sometimes just the D chord, right? But mostly he uses a D seven chord in this song, all right? So the G chord is your first chord and then the C chord is later and then a D seven and then back to the G chord, all right? So the entire song is built around those three chords, but the opening lick is really cool, and the opening lick obviously uh, corresponds to those chords as well. So what is that opening lick? Well, it goes like... So what exactly did I do there? I didn't do it quite the same as I did at the beginning of the song. Um, but, you know, you can do whatever you want with this song if you're playing it on, an, on a different instrument. You can vary up the parts a little bit from here to there, as long as you keep the integrity of uh, most of that opening lick. So here, over the G chord to start off with, I'm sliding up to a really cool little part. Really nice little melodic part that you can slide around on the mandolin. So you slide up to there, the 7th and the ninth fret, and then you go... To the open G chord again so what I do is I slide into those notes as well so I'm like that so I'm sliding to the seventh fret here and then hitting that ninth fret with my ring finger and then then I'm also sliding to the C note and then I'm hitting this note which is C the fifth fret of the G string and then catching the seventh fret of the D string with my ring finger. So once again, that opening lick. So slowly, that's the first part of it, just one, two, and one, two. That's it, just that note and this note, that note and this note, but you gotta slide into it, so. And then down to that open G string, so you go. on the second one there, so. Okay, so what did I do there that time after the opening two little slidey licks? Well, on the G, he, he does like a, on the guitar he brings in sort of a, I guess it's a sus chord of some kind on the open G. Well, you can do that here on the mandolin as well by catching these two notes here, the C note again which is your fifth fret of the G string. And then the E note here, which is right there um, on the second fret of the D string. Okay, so you want to hammer that. So you're on the G and then... Like that. 
hammer to there, to the fifth fret of the G string, hit that E string there, and then the A, the open A here. So, and keep these strings, these fingers down on the strings while you're playing that A note. So the whole thing will ring out as a nice chord over the G. So. Okay, so where does he go from the second one, the second time? Well, then he goes to a C chord. So it's like this. I do it like this. Right? So I catch that C chord here, this voicing from the fifth fret and the second fret and the third fret, like that. And then again, you can just... You can just hammer some notes. I'm just hammering some notes in the C chord now. So here, that second, open to the second fret of the D string, and then third fret on the A string. So you can just keep this finger locked here on the C note. And then back to your G chord again. So one more time from the beginning. Okay, that's the G, right? Now to the C. All right, and then the third time, he goes to a D seventh chord. Now, Steve Earle does this. Right, he just does, he repeats that lick there into the D seven chord. So what I do, and what the Proclaimers do on their version, is they slide the lick down. They go... Right? Into that D7 chord. So I play the D7 chord this way uh, for this song, this voicing. So you're... So you're catching the D chord, D seventh chord down here, uh, second fret of the G string, fourth fret here of the D string, and third fret of the A string. That gives you your seventh note in the D scale. And then you can also catch the high A up there if you like with your pinky. That gives you a nice D seven chord. You don't have to, you can just voice it like that. So one more time, the D seven part goes like this. Back to that G part again, just like at the beginning. And the rest of the song is just based on those same chords, the G to C to D. So, just when every ray of hope was gone, right? You should have known that you would come along. So what does he do there? Well, he's doing just when every ray of hope was gone. That's on the G chord. And then a little up to the C chord. Should have known when you would come along. Back to the G. All right, so I walked up a little bit to give it a little bit of movement in this song from the G chord to the C chord. You can do that too. You can walk up from the open G note, A, B, C, all right, into the C chord voicing that I had here from earlier. So it's like, just when every ray of hope was gone, then you start walking. You should have known that you, right, to the C chord, you would come along back to the G. And then from the C, he goes G, I always knew that it could count on you, right? That's the D7 chord again. C, my old friend, the blues. And what's that? Well, that's the D7. So C, back to D7, to G. Okay, and the choruses in this song go from... Lovers leave and friends will get you down. That's a C. Should have known you're the only sure thing in town. That's a G. And then last part of that is a D7. Always knew I could count on you. And then my old friend, the blue. So that's the C, D7 to G. Okay, so one more time. The chords in the uh, chorus is C to G. And then D7 here, right? And then my old friend, the blues. And that's Steve Earle's classic song, My Old Friend the Blues, also covered by the Proclaimers. 
back a number of years ago. Their version is also really cool. It's such a fun song to play on the mandolin. Um, if you can get those little opening licks down, they are wonderful. Thanks again for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel and you like what we're doing, please hit that little red subscriber button on the lower right corner of your screen. If you have subscribed, if you are a regular viewer here, thank you very much for tuning in once again, and thank you for all your kind comments and support. We really appreciate it. My name is Mike DeJong, and you have been watching RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. <laughs>